Hello, everyone. Today I'm with Stanford Wrestling signing and St. John Bosco wrestler, Grigor Shorlakian. Thank you for joining me today. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Anytime. I'll start with my first question. How old were you when you started wrestling? Yeah, you know, growing up as a kid, I was always around the sport, but I officially started when I was 10 years old. You know, I did gymnastics growing up, and then I officially started wrestling when I was 10. So you're always like around the sport and then 10 was like when you started getting into the action. Yeah. Yeah. Like my dad used to always train for fun and like my dad's friends were all wrestlers, you know, but I actually started when I was 10. Yeah. But so but yeah, it was, it was like new to you, but not new to you since you had been around it. Yeah, exactly. Did you play any other sports? Yeah. I actually, like when I was younger, like, like I said, my first, my base was gymnastics, you know, I wasn't the best, but, I feel like that's always a good base to start off like a child. So they put me in gymnastics. I wasn't the best, you know. I'm barely learning how to do a backflip right now, but <laughs> it was fun. It keeps you athletic. And like in middle school, I did basketball, flag football for fun. But I was only serious with wrestling. Yeah, so you kind of did other stuff for fun. And then gymnastics, I'm sure it helped you because that builds your strength. You're doing lots of like your core and just everything and athletic, like you said, so. Exactly. Yeah, that probably helped you with wrestling, but wrestling was always like the serious one. Yep. What has it been like wrestling for St. John Bosco, which is one of the best high school wrestling programs? Yeah, you know, it's it's real cool. Uh obviously it's not in my neighborhood, so I have to drive there for like 40 minutes, but just training there with my coach Ruben Valencia and all my partners, you know, Joe Antonio and Nicholas Hawk and both division one commits, West Point and ASU. You know, I got I got good partners there. They all get me better. And, you know, it's real motivating just, you know, jogging. You know, you see all the state championship banners. You see my coach, you know. I could be jogging and I could be, like, jogging next to a MMA world champ right next to me. Division one commits next to me. You know, it's just it's inspirational and motivational for sure because I'm, I'm training with people that have like-minded goals. Yeah, you see, like, in the, the past, the guys who have done it, too, before you had your school, like you said, when you're jogging team, the fans, then the current that you're not the only one on your team that wants to get there. So you all three, you're, like, other D1 commits helping each other get to that same goal. And it helps you prepare for the next level because you'll be going against all the D1 guys. So you're already getting that experience in high school. Yes, sir. Did they, like, offer you St. John Bosco, or how did you pick to go there? No, uh, well, I didn't know where I was going to go to high school in my eighth grade year because it was like COVID and all that. But we did like a little underground wrestling tournament because all the wrestling tournaments were canceled. And like we did like a little duel with St. John Bosco. And, you know, I really liked the coach. I knew when I was like not younger, but like maybe middle schoolish because I would go to tournaments. I'd see them, you know, and we just my, talked with my dad and we made a sacrifice to go to Bosco because it's it, – it's paying off. Just... Yeah, it helped get you to where you want to be. Exactly, yeah. I know St. John Bosco helps prepare their athletes for the next level. What is your training like at St. John Bosco? It's good, you know. I We train a lot. We train hard. Yeah, but I can't complain because my coach, Ruben Valencia, he knows what he's doing. You know, he's he's built champions, world champions, world medalists. And, you know, we train, we drill, we go technique we lift we we do sprints we do conditioning and i feel like our conditioning is real hard we do circuits on wednesdays you know i feel like you could bring any athlete football player wrestler in the country and if they do our wednesday conditioning they're gonna leave the room throwing up for sure you know that's it's real rough but it builds us and just training there it's it's real it prepares me it, it be, keeps my confidence high because confidence comes from preparation yeah yeah so you you know, for any athlete, like I said, your workout's, like, really tough to conditioning. So then, though, that helps you because, like, in the wrestling match, you know, you've done a lot harder with that conditioning. And even when you get to the college level, you experience, like, some of the hardest conditioning. So it helps you a lot in the long term. Yep. What made you pick Stanford? Yeah, uh, so I was getting recruited by a lot of schools, you know, just getting a lot of phone calls, texts. Coaches trying to persuade me to go to their school, but uh, I set my top two pretty soon. You know, my top two is Stanford and UPenn, but ultimately I feel like what made me choose Stanford is one, it was 
it was probably the closest school that was hitting me up as far as distance. You know, I was getting hit up from schools all across the country. Two, they're obviously everybody knows Stanford, you know, they're academics top notch. It's gonna set me up for life, you know, and whatever career I decide to pursue, it's gonna it's gonna excel me in multiple ways. Three, you know, the coaches there, they're just top notch, amazing. You know, they care about you. They're in that room, they're trying to get you better. And uh, you know, just the location, the weather, it's not gonna be freezing cold like I'll be in Pennsylvania or something. No, that plays a big factor. I don't want to be somewhere where it's like freezing cold. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so I yeah, mean, they have everything. everything. Yeah. They got the academics, like you said, so that when your wrestling career is done, you know, you made the most because you're also getting the great academics. Or like you said, same state. We get to go see something new too and still get really good weather, but your family can still visit you and you can go back home. Yep. I say you always wanted like that good academics school because you had U Penn and Stanford, both really good academics. Yeah, that, that was my top two. You know, it's not no slouch on U Penn though. You know, U Penn was offering me a spot on the Wharton School. They have like the number one business school in the world. It's known for it. They were offering me a spot there. But uh ultimately I feel like the distance was a big factor and the weather it was just too cold. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'd have snow for a long time. Yeah. Not that guy. When will you be arriving at Stanford? Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet. I still got to, whenever the my school year is done, I got to talk with my coaches. But as far as I, like, I've heard, I feel like they're going to want me there early summer, you know, so just to get used to the system, their training system. But classes won't start till September, but I'm 100% going to be there before September. I think sometime early summer. So then you'll be there early and then like you'll be with the team already and getting the workouts, getting used to everything. So then like when school starts, like that's not a big adjustment doing both that and school. Exactly, yeah. What are you most excited for at Stanford? Oh, I'm really excited to just go out there and like a new experience in my life. You know, I've been living in Southern California for my whole life. You know, it's it's been the same of my 18 years on this earth, you know, just going to the same like areas, you know, obviously I've went on vacations, but going up North is going to be a new experience in my life for sure. And I'm really excited about everything, you know, meeting new people, making connections that might be useful in the future, you know, getting better as a wrestler, obviously getting my degrees, just becoming a better person overall. I'm really excited for everything, you know? Yeah. So just the new, like new scenery and everything because you've been southern california you get to go up to northern california and you get to experience that and just like you said getting your degree helping you for after your wrestling and just enjoying it yes sir how do you persevere through the matches that are challenging and when things aren't going your way you know there's there's a lot of like tough matches i've went through you know and hard i just have to keep grinding you know it's it's i have to look for an opening you know even when it's not there you gotta wait for them to make a mistake maybe but you know what i think is i just keep on working something's gonna happen if it doesn't work then it's whatever you know i got you gotta learn from your losses that's what makes it not a loss if you if you learn from your losses nothing will happen yeah you just never make those mistakes again so i just keep on grinding and i know that everything will be all right yeah, so you just keep on going, never quitting during that match and, you know, exactly. get an escape or if not, like you said, you learn so that it doesn't happen again. You get experience either way. Exactly, yeah. What's the biggest wrestling match you've had before? Yeah, in my career, you know, I've had a lot of big matches, but honestly, one that sticks out to me right now as far as most recent, you know, I was at Fargo Nationals over the summer. I went there every year uh, and it's the biggest tournament one of the biggest tournaments in the country in America, you know, like there was over 200 kids in my bracket. I was very underseen, you know, I was predicted to not place only top eight earns all American honors and gets a little stop sign award. So I was just knocking out ranked kids back to back to back. And then I made, I made the semifinals. So I had a, a kid that was Pennsylvania state champ, you know, obviously he was uh, the favorite to win the match going into the match. Mm -hmm. It was my finals, national finals, 
on the line. I just went in and I was real confident, you know. I, I pulled some tricks, but I ended up beating him eight to two pretty, not easily, but that's a pretty convincing win. And yeah, definitely beating that kid in that match. You know, a lot of nerves, a lot of college coaches watching, a lot of people, big crowd. And that secured my spot in the national finals. And obviously the match after, that was pretty big. You know, spotlight, crowd, everything in the national finals. I didn't win that, but, you know, it's it's whatever. The The match before was my biggest as far as winning, yeah. yeah that's awesome. Like, being the underdog, you know, proving everybody wrong, you know, because, like, the underseed, and then you went all the way to the finals and beat the Pennsylvania State champion. And, like, not just, like, like you said, not easily, but pretty convincingly, like, they knew it wasn't just, like, a fluke. That's yeah. really cool. And I bet, like, the atmosphere was crazy in that. Yeah, it was. You know, I was I was real pumped up, you know. I had one of the future, my future Stanford coaches in my corner, one of the Bosco coaches, Ruben Valencia. You know, I, I got a little hyped up after. I flexed. It was, I was all sweaty. It was a good moment in my career, you know. I'll, I'll never forget it, but I look forward to having more bigger matches this year and, like, for the years to come. Yeah, just keep building off of that. Like, that was just like a preview of the big matches that will come. Exactly. What are your goals for your final high school wrestling season? You know, I have a lot of goals, a lot of stuff I need to accomplish before I finish my high school career off. You know, I want to win the Doc B tournament. I don't know if you know what that is. It's a national tournament. It's in our schedule. You know, if you win, you get a nice little cowboy hat. Oh, and, that would be cool if you get that. Yeah. You know, I'll win. I Hopefully, God willing, I win that. And I want to secure my legacy at Bosco and win a California state title. You know, I don't care when I'm ranked, when I'm seated, what other people think, if they're doubting me. But I really want to just go out there, wrestle. If I wrestle like myself, you know, I don't think any, any of these kids could beat me. So that's my goal, winning a state title. Yeah, cementing your legacy at Bosco, like you said, you know, they always remember to have your name up there in the gym and. You know, it should always be your memory as a state champion. Yes, sir. It's the goal. And you can do it. Like, you proved it at the tournament, making all the way to the finals. Yeah. How would you describe yourself off the mat? You know, I think I'm a pretty nice guy, respectful, humble. I, I'm i pretty – I treat people well. And I'm just a funny guy, I guess. Just laid back, chill. Yeah, so the type of person that people want to have around – with yeah. the funny, chill, nice, you know. Yeah. Then the last question I have is for fun. If you get to take any three wrestlers to dinner, they could be past or present. Who would you take? Oh, uh, wrestlers? Can I say like other athletes too? Or yeah, just... you could do any athletes. All right. For one wrestler for the three, probably. Hmm. Probably Jordan Burroughs, I guess. You know, he's a real good wrestler right now. He's one of the the goats as far as current wrestling. One one basketball player, you know, has always been one of my favorites, Michael Jordan. You know, real. I love his mindset. I'll probably him. And then the third person. Does the third person have to be athlete or just could be like someone famous? It could be anyone if you want. Yeah, someone. The third person, probably, probably Drake, you know. <laughs> I like his music just to like. See what's up with them. So Jordan Burroughs, Michael Jordan, and Drake. That'd be a cool dinner. You know, you got like a mix of everything. I know, exactly. After Drake just released his EP on that new yeah. album. So. Yeah. Well, that'd be a great dinner for sure. Yeah. MJ, he'd be cool. To talk to. I feel like he'd try and start some competition there, though. Yeah. He's <laughs> cool. I know. Like watching his like Last Dance documentary. That's that was real so cool. cool. Yeah. Like, his mentality, like, I just wanted to, like, make the Bulls great. Like, when he first got drafted, we talked about that. And then, like, he, he'd he back up whatever he'd say. Exactly, yeah. That's, that's real inspirational. Um, I mean, like, that'll be my dinner. That'll be a really fun dinner. Hopefully it happens. <laughs> yeah. One day, maybe. We'll see. All right. Thank you for taking the time to join me today. I appreciate it, Nathan. Good luck on your soccer game. Thank you.